Love you. Love you. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Gross. <laughs> Winnie's excited because she's like, yay, I can eat snow again. <laughs> I'm not happy, but I'm not crampy. So yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Getting some breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> it's 8.30 in the morning, guys. Happy friggin' Saturday. <laughs> Curtis literally just got home from work he just left. and then he got a fire call right away. It's going to be that kind of day, I imagine, because a lot of people probably have their winter tires taken off. We do not yet. And I'm glad because I, it's Saturday and I really want to go shopping. <laughs> Coffee time and nail time. Oh my goodness. I'm going to start my Saturday morning with some nail polish. When he's got a bowl of snow, nail polish, and YouTube comments. That's my Saturday morning and coffee. And then maybe some Pastor Stephen Furnick if he wants to yell at me this morning. Maybe I'll let him. <laughs> I hear that the doggy's away. Good morning! <laughs> Cooper's not here, so we have to go to town anyways. Cooper had a birthday party last night um, at a hotel with some of his friends. So, and their parents, don't worry. <laughs> It sounds like a pretty scary uh, birthday party, but no, Cooper's still 12. Um, <laughs> he's going to be 13 in September. But um, anyways, we have to pick him up anyway. So I'm like, we might as well go shopping and probably get some McDonald's. That's <laughs> Saturday. And Cooper does have a game actually today, a basketball game, but it's this afternoon. So Jasper's like, mom, did it snow out there? <laughs> oh, he loves the snow, you guys. He's going to have a good day. <laughs> and a muddy day, I imagine. So cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can go in the snow now. You can go around. All right, we're waiting for Koopy. I think I see him. I don't think he was paying attention to us, so. <laughs> is that him? Oh, there he is! I was right! Oh, which one's my window? Let's roll them all down. Hi! Hi. <laughs> all right, the gang's all back together. Except for Curtis, he's at home sleeping. <laughs> um, we are gonna have a sleepover with Kimber. We're gonna have a sleepover with Aunt Kimber tonight, my sister. Um, we're gonna have fun. We always have fun with Aunt Kimber. She's the young one. She's the baby of my family, so she's the party animal. I'm the baby. Of well, yes, family. you're the baby of our family, but Kimber's the baby of my family when I grew up. Anyways, we are at, can you tell? Frenchies. We're at Frenchies. And we're going to do a little thrifting, and then we're gonna go to Marshall's, and then we're gonna go to McDonald's. McDonald's. See if we can get a SpongeBob Happy Meal toy, you know, just keeping it real. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I'm a lucky mama. Also, we're beside a really nice Jeep. So I picked a good parking space, you know. Where's Cooper? Oh, he's behind you. <laughs> Let's see it. Yeah, you can get it, Winnie. Cute. Everybody's shopping. Spending a rainy, snowy day inside. That is my plan. <laughs> I'm so not in the mood to try on a bathing suit, but I also don't want to leave this here. Might be a lucky find. And all the kids went to the car. <laughs> Time to head in to my favorite store with my favorite people. <laughs> Remember the other day when I came to town and I was like, I feel like a total babe. I don't feel that way right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's not my best look, guys. <laughs> it's my lucky day, you guys. Found my purple shampoo. 
and Winnie found me this Disney mug. It's only $7.99. She's a good little shopper, guys. <laughs> you cooking something? Yeah. What'd you make me? Some soup. Some soup. Yay. I love soup. <laughs> Never expected to see this today, guys. <laughs> a bendable Mr. Bean. Wow. <laughs> That's so cool. This made me awe out loud. I love that. Ooh, look at that, baby. Very good find, Coop. The boys told me that they would do this challenge with me. Dun, dun, dun. Um, <laughs> warning. Warning, extremely hot. Just like me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is it filled? Oh, you got it. Nice job. I don't think, have you guys ever used one of those before? Yeah, they're cool. When he wanted to come to Mastermind to pick out a toy, the boys both got something at Marshall's and Winnie didn't, so we're gonna let her come pick something from here. I love all these classic toys. So friggin' fun. Look at this, it's Jasper dressed as a whale. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> he totally scared me with this little snake. I'm a snake. I'm a slithery little snake. <laughs> oh my heck. <laughs> so when he picked out these and this little calico critter tree house, and then all three of them got, um, what are these called? Poppets? I don't know. They're don't little know. like sensory toys. Go pop. It's kind of like supposed to be like bubble, like bubble wrapping. What do you call that? Bubble wrap? It's actually a game, apparently. Really? A clever popping game. All right. Cool. Clever. <laughs> you can take your mask off, love. And then we'll eat. Okay. Time for some McDonald's, guys. And guess what toy we're getting today? Yeah, we don't know. We haven't seen anyone get Mrs. Puff yet, so we might be the first ones in the whole wide world. Yes, Cooper! Boom, baby! <laughs> oh! Sweater and he's mad. He thinks he can fit a medium. Oh my heck, honey! Hurt my shoulder real bad. <laughs> You're Such so an old. old. Man. Wow, I can see your nipples. <laughs> like, uh, like, oh yeah! <laughs> this is my sweater now. <laughs> it's not. It reminds me of one of my sweaters of old. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Who wore it better, guys? Cooper, you're so handsome. He's so handsome. Oh, he's adorable. Nice sweater. I think we all know it looked better on me. No. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do like a super quick haul because Aunt Kimber's coming over and I also have to get through the thrifting bag, which I'm gonna have to try stuff on. And also, <laughs> I, I had a donut for breakfast. I had McDonald's for lunch and I had ice cream when I got home. And I bought three bathing suits to try on. <laughs> it should be fun. It should be fun. Anyways, I got some more purple shampoo. This stuff is my favorite. It works the best. It's $19.99, but it lasts like over a month because I only wash my hair. Well, it's gross and dirty right now, but I need to wash it. So I'm glad that I got the purpliest purple shampoo ever. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Look. Okay, making a mess. Splurge. <laughs> We got the $5.99 challenge, the Bean Boozled, the Spicy. Um, we showed Curtis, he's not impressed, but we're gonna make him do it anyways. <laughs> $7.99 for my beautiful, gonna wash it, gonna use it tomorrow morning, Minnie Mouse mug, so excited about that. Um, Cooper got the sweater. 
I got this for myself because I keep dropping my phone because my pop socket keeps falling off and that is what I hold on to when I'm vlogging. So I had to get a new one because I ordered some on Etsy. I in fact ordered four, two for me and two for you guys. And I just got like an email confirmation and they're gonna come in June. What? I can't wait till June. So I, I got one for now. It says be mine and it's adorable. It was $10, which is much cheaper than the ones I got. I got Disney ones, you guys. They're going to be really cool. And Skylar got some underwear. There you go. That's what we got from Marshalls. I think that's everything. Anyways, I'm going to get through the two bags of Frenchie stuff. I forgot my friggin' bags. Yeah, at home, again, reusable bags. So I had to buy reusable bags to bring stuff out to the car. This is what we got in Mastermind. Oh, Winnie wants to show you what she picked, which we were in Mastermind probably longer than we were in any store because it was very difficult for her to choose, but she did a good choice. Wow. Little tree house and some cute little mouse babies. Oh, Nick. Okay. And look, there's a little hammock. So adorable. It sometimes falls. Whoa, baby. That's like Uncle Nay when he gets in his hammock at camping. Flipperoo. Really <laughs> I moved the bags up. I spent $139 at Frenchie's, which is actually kind of like like award winning because Frenchie's stuff is really affordable. So the fact that I spent $139 means, well, number one, that their prices did go up, but it's still affordable. Um, but also I bought a lot of stuff. So I'm just, nothing's in any particular order. I had to bag my own stuff and get it out of the bin and try not to ruin my nail polish, which I just painted this morning. Um, because like I'm in a new routine with my nail polish where I wake up, have coffee if the kids are going to school. Oh, he's eating a sock. If the <laughs> shocker. If the kids are going to school, I bring them to school, come back at my coffee and um, sit down and answer comments, watch criminal minds, and paint my nails. But the problem with that is it takes like I swear guys, it takes like eight to ten hours for it to like actually stop getting scuffed. Anyways, it got scuffed so much in town because the hangers and stuff you probably can't tell but i can tell and i'm frustrated anyways <laughs> look at this girl you guys <laughs> okay so in no particular order and i also can't really give you the prices exactly how much i paid for everything because Ah, the receipt is so hard to understand because when i got out to the car i looked at the receipt and i was like $13.50 for a golf shirt. And then I was like, wait a minute, does that say five? And then that, the five together means $13.50. Like the receipt is garbage. Like it just doesn't, it tells you how much you spent. You really honestly have no idea what everything costs. Um, but you can look it up online if you wanna look up um, guys Frenchies or geese Frenchies. I have hair all over me guys, I'm shedding. Anyways, um, it's online if you wanna look, but it's, I don't know, it's kind of irritating. So I just, whatever, $139 for everything. So um, in no particular order, because this is just the way it is, and Winnie and Curtis are apparently playing right there on the table. Um, so don't be annoyed by that. And I'm gonna try to not be annoyed by that most of all. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so this um, is a really nice tank top, actually. I'm just making it bigger because I would never, like I got good shoulders, guys. I don't need it to be super tight. Um, anyways. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, Tara and Sky. I think it's either Walmart or um, Target, but we don't have it here in Canada anymore. Um, yeah, it's really good condition. It's just like, you know that buttery material? What is it actually called? I think it says the material right here. Um, nope, made in guacamole. Nope! Guatemala, um, I, I know that your country's not named after guacamole. I'm sorry. Um, okay, this says, okay, 90% polyester, 10% per spent, 10% spandex. So the bathing suit situation, 
which I'm not excited for. But if you guys have recently bought a bathing suit and perhaps you're a fuller figured woman, you understand our bathing suits cost over a hundred dollars. The last, what? Um, actually, no, maybe I bought one at Walmart for like 40 or 50, but they're just too expensive. And my hair is driving me nuts, you guys. I can see it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wish I had all the time in the world where I could go make myself pretty and come back and film this, but I know that you love me even when I'm a hot mess express. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> anyways, I'm trying to get this done because I actually want to finish this video, get it edited, get it uploaded before my sister comes over so we can just have a family night and not worry about Miranda getting her YouTubes done. Anyways, um, so I don't know how much I paid for these. I know it wasn't super a lot for each piece and I got just like a lot of pieces and I'm going to try to piece a bathing suit together. I also know that um, it's good to have more than one bathing suit, especially when you're a camper, because I hate putting on a wet bathing suit to go swimming again, or like to go back to the beach. No, <laughs> the grossest feeling. Okay. One of the grossest feelings is in the world. Number one is taking your wet bathing suit off, but trying to put that baby back on. That is not a game I want to play. So I found this. I don't even think it says what size anywheres, but this is like a bottom and it's got like the little panty underneath and then a little skirt over top. And let me tell you, ladies, I am all about body acceptance, but I don't even want to look at my thighs. I don't. I, I want to look at your thighs. <laughs> he doesn't mind. I, my legs have changed so much since I had three babies. I have like varicose veins that, and what are the ones called? Are those varicose veins that I have? Like spider legs, you know? I don't know what. They're probably varicose veins. They're, I have like. I think they're fine. You fall into the treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, okay, no more talking to Curtis. Okay, so I got this. I'm gonna try it on. I'm scared to try it on. I have not been eating appropriately at all. Anyways, this again, why are people so short? I need all that length, guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I found this, which would match really good with that skirt if it wants to. Um, but we're not sure. We're not sure at all. I don't like how short it is in the back, which I'm just noticing. Um, could be interesting. But it looks really well made and it's got like the boobage in the front. So oh, I think I, like <laughs> I think it might be okay. I don't know. We're going to try it. And then I also got this one just because like Frenchies is such a hit or miss place. It's like, it's literally just a thrift store. So if you don't pick it up when you're there, it's not going to be there when you go back kind of thing. So I really did like the color. Like, oh, I like the color of this one. This is another tankini. I may also want to tell you guys I've never worn a tankini in my entire life. I think the last time I wore a bikini was when I was like two or three. Um, so this would be new for me, but I'm all about doing new stuff. I'm all about just who cares anymore. Just do what you want to do kind of thing. Yeah, and <laughs> doing new stuff. <laughs> Stop. I don't know what size this is. I can't find a tag anywhere, but it looks like a nice size. It looks generous, um, so we're going to give it a go, and I would love to be able to wear a tankini because it would be so nice to be able to go pee and pull down your bottoms because actually, someone, one of my friends taught me this trick. Maybe you don't know about this trick, but I was taught this trick at the Lions Club pool when I was probably like 14 or 15 because me and my friend went to go pee in the bathroom and then to go back to the pool and she was done so quickly. And I was like, how did you pee so fast? And she's like, what do you mean? And she's like, you just push it over and go pee. And I was like, push it over and go pee. What, what do you mean? And she's like, you grab the crotch of your bathing suit and you pull it over, sit down, pee, push her back over. And I was like, all this time I've been taking the whole thing off and putting it all the way back on. You guys, you can just push it over. I know. It's crazy. It's crazy. But it would be nice to have like the option where you can just slip on a little bathing suit bottom, slip off a little bathing suit bottom. Why are you guys laughing? <laughs> oh, you guys are trouble. Trouble. All right. And then this is the bathing suit that I showed you in the store. This is not going to fit me. There's this like this is a sexual amazingly beautiful bathing suit i absolutely adore it 
But just look at that little figure in the back. That ain't my figure. Nope, but I don't know why I wanted to buy it. Probably just because I thought it was really pretty. You never know. Pigs can fly. Maybe she wants me to wear it. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Anyways, it looks really well made. I don't know if there's a tag in this. It's called, ooh, it's called a miracle suit. Ooh, maybe it's gonna be like Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants and it'll fit me miraculously and make me look like Beyonce in it. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Skylar found this one. You play ball like a girl! <laughs> Which is so fun because we do have a few um, Sandlot merchandise, but it, they always say you're killing me small. So it's fun to have a different one. And actually this guy, this actor guy is now on TikTok, and Skylar and I have been watching him too. And it's just, it's, he still looks the exact same. Like he has not aged. He maybe got a little bigger. That's about it. Like, and maybe a little bit older, but he still looks like that guy. <laughs> anyway, Skylar picked this out for himself. He likes, I won't call it a tank top. He likes the muscle shirts because they're not tank tops, mom. They're muscle shirts. Oh, I forgot that I got this for me. Okay, I got this for me. And let me also say, when I was thrifting clothes for myself and like looking through the racks, I have realized, Miranda, you are very choosy now. I'm so picky when it comes to clothes because I know what a good shirt is. I know what a good pair of pants are. I will not buy something anymore just because it would fit me. You know what I mean? I've changed the way I shop completely. And there were a few, like, there were probably like 10 things that I left on the rack that Miranda last year would have totally bought in a heartbeat. And I would have worn them in a heartbeat. But I'm not like that anymore. I, oh my goodness, you guys, a change has happened. I absolutely don't want to make myself uncomfortable at all. If it's not a nice fabric, buy, not buying you. If it is too short, because a lot of the shirts that I used to buy, um, and okay, for example, this sweater is also too short. See that? It should be ending down here, but it doesn't. It ends right where my belly button is, and that ain't cute, okay? But I wear a long tank top, blah, blah, blah. Would I buy this? today if i saw it at frenchies no i wouldn't because i only like to buy stuff now that 100 percent works for me i have a good wardrobe right now of clothes that work for me and that are comfortable and that i enjoy to wear them the reason why i'm wearing this today i'll still wear it i mean i bought it brand new for like i think it was 11 dollars, but i need a black sweater when i'm wearing sweatpants <laughs> because i can't wear I can't do like like a pink sweater with these purple sweatpants. Oh my land, I would die. I God, that's too much for me. That's too much. So anyways, okay, fine. Um, all that to say, I'm going to be more choosy with the clothes that I buy from here on out. And it's nice that I'm a plus size woman and I can do that now because there are so many plus size options. Even in the Moncton area where we have lost our additional, we don't have plus size in our Old Navy. Um, but you can buy it online. Okay. Um, <laughs> but we do have a Winners and Marshalls and we have many different thrift stores and all of our thrift stores now have plus size. And like 15 years ago when I was thrifting, I don't even think there was a section for plus size back then because there wasn't enough clothes for a plus size section. But now there is. And I'm not just saying there are bigger people everywhere. So I'm not just saying that because I just think it's- I love the word section. Section. Get out of here. What I'm saying is there are more options for people now. So there are, why are you laughing? I'm laughing little weasel. You're a laughing little weasel? <laughs> okay. Anyways, I got this for myself. Craft and borrow or craft and barrow. I don't know. This is a double XL. It's just a green sweat sweater. Let me try it on. I'll try it on right now. Because honestly, oh, I'm starting to get really hot and I didn't even want to wear the stupid sweater anymore. Okay, I'm wearing a sports bra. That kind of hurt. <laughs> um, I was just all about comfort today. <sighs> Boopsies! Because it's snowing and yucky and all of that, but I really do like this color. Mm, it's cute, you guys. I definitely already have a sweater like this, but this is just... Another one, <laughs> another one. <laughs>
<laughs> I searched around because I knew that I bought one more shirt. Um, I bought this one. I think this is um, a Target brand. And this is the Morona. My Morona. I don't know. Um, and this is made in, looks like another hard word to say, Nicaragua. How you doing if you're from there? Thanks for the shirt. Um, anyways, I this isn't even my size. This is an extra large. And right now, I am most definitely a double extra large. But this material is that buttery, soft material. And I really like the color. And I also would really like to not be a double XL going into the summer. So, oh, I love this color, you guys. Anyways, I wanted to buy it anyways and make it work. Just make it work. And it is like long, so it's really not that bad anyways. And if I had a real bra on, this would look prettier. But <laughs> What? You like it? Thank you. All right, I'm gonna finish going through this stuff really quick because I wanna try those bathing suits on and get them over with because I'm literally dreading it. You guys know that trying on bras and bathing suits and jeans for that matter, you really have to be in the zone for that because it can really, really damage your self-esteem <laughs> like so badly. But I am, you know, changing my perspective on trying on clothes and having them not fit. It's more like, oh, okay, it just doesn't fit. Not, I don't fit. You know, there's something wrong with the clothes, not something wrong with me. So I think, I think I'm in a good zone. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not looking forward to trying them on. But, you know, let's try them on and then put it on the internet for lots of people to see and bear judgment over. <laughs> That's all right. That's what I'm doing. Um, so you guys know Winnie picked out this gorgeous purse. There is a sticker. She didn't care. She thought we could get it off. Um, inappropriate. Um, anyways, I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try to scrub it. Anyways, um, so she got that. What are you going to try to do? Stop. I tried to change. You guys, I said to Curtis the other day or today, he's like, you know, you said something really inappropriate and you didn't catch it. I don't catch things all the time on purpose because I want to continue with my sentence and not laugh and have to turn off the camera. So just know if you're thinking it, I already thought it, honey. <laughs> so I found these for Winnie for summer. These are a size 10 and they're a Capri, but Winnie really, 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 really hates tight fitting clothes. Like if it's tight, it better be comfy and soft and stretchy because she, I mean, have you ever wore a pair of jeans in your whole life? No. I love jeans. Not you, Winnie. <laughs> Winnie, um, actually I picked up a pair of jeans at Frenchie's today and I was like, Winnie, look, these are really soft. And they were like jeggings. And she's like, mom, I'm not gonna wear those. They're jeans. And I was like, but look, they're stretchy and soft. And she's like, I don't care, I'm not wearing them. And I was like, yeah, you're right. You totally won't wear them and I'll waste my money. So. Um, I got these for Winnie because I know they'll be a little bit baggy on her this summer, but next summer they'll be perfect. And why wouldn't you buy something that you could use for two seasons instead of one? So, and plus they're beautiful flowers, perfect for camping, absolutely love it. Um, and she needs an entire new wardrobe because you know when you're raising children, you go from one summer to the next summer and they completely grow like a foot in between the non Winnie. <laughs> you guys. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> this is a really cute calico critter baby. She's dead. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> moment of silence. <laughs> There's been house. a lot of moments of silence in this house for toys that have been destroyed. Um, we found these shorts for Winnie. Look, they're pink. They're sparkly. They're from my favorite brand from the States, Cat and Jack. I'm pretty sure that is um, Cat and Jack. <laughs> They're going to play downstairs now. Thank you. Okay. Um, also got this Justice. We used to have a Justice. It was exactly where, um, in the same place that Mastermind is now in town. But as soon as COVID start, Justice bounced out. So we only had it for less than a year. Anyways, I found this absolutely stunning dress. Stunning. Um, it looks like it basically was never even used. Um, I'm going to put it in her closet after I wash it and it's going to be for next winter fall season, um, size eight. And it looks like it would fit her already. Um, but it's definitely got some, um, room to grow for her. Look at the sleeves, the bell sleeves. Oh, 
I would wear this. If it was length to the floor, I would definitely wear this. Why are you gagging, Winnie? Oh. <laughs> All right, so I found um, some tank tops for Winnie too. Um, this is a size eight from Justice. This one, and I also got her another one, which this is my favorite material. It's that buttery soft material again. And this is from Wonder Nation. I think that is um, Walmart, not sure. Anyways, this is a size 6, 6X, but she has an orange one exactly like this, which is still a size four. It's still, it hasn't changed sizes. It's a size four and it still fits her. So I was happy to grab that. Um, I found this adorable. I don't know what size this is, but you know Winnie and her rainbows. And I thought, oh my heck. Does this not say Winnie all over it? Adore, adore it. I love it. It's going to be so perfect. Found her this as well. Perfect for summer. She needs an entire new wardrobe for summer. Some of the things um, will fit from last summer, but not a lot. Anyways, this is a nice generous size six. So that's perfect for her. Again, she found something with a rainbow and I love that it's like a chemist lab um, and they're making girl power. Spice Girls forever, love it. Um, and then she found this one, Team Mermaid. You already know, you already know. And then I found these. These could be boys shorts, don't tell her. They're just black shorts. They still have a tag, oh my Lanta! They've never been used before. And they're women's, women's, what the frig? Okay, they're an extra small women's size, like, no wonder we have issues, ladies. How is this for a woman? I bought this for my six-year-old daughter. Whatever. <laughs> That's weird. Um, and then I found, I don't know if I found more pieces to a bathing suit. What I've basically been doing when I find a good piece of a bathing suit for Winnie, I'm buying it um, because I love, so I like to have more than one bathing suit for myself. Also more than one bathing suit for my boys. But for Winnie, I like to have like, not even kidding you, like five or six bathing suits, especially since we have our own pool, which she swims in every single day in the summer because they're always drying. They're all over the place drying. They're in the washer, in the dryer. No, I hang them to dry. They're in the laundry. <laughs> but like, it's just good to have extras. So I've just been picking up pieces when I find them. So I found these little cute booty shorts. Um, these are a size eight and they're from Land's End, which is a great brand. And then Winnie found this, which is hello, adorable. And again, it's that Cat and Jack brand, which I love. Um, anyways, hello. So cute. So I already do have some pieces. I have some black shorts that she could wear with these. I did try to look for both pieces, like the top or the bottom to match those. Couldn't find them. It's hard because they don't pair things together. So like someone could come and just find the bottoms to this and buy the bottoms. I wish so bad if they were donated together or given together, then send them together. I actually am not sure how I should know this, but I really don't know how Frenchies actually acquires their clothes um i do know they all come from the states i don't know how they are acquired i don't think they're stolen goods <laughs> i know they're not like it's a real store there's many of them across the maritimes anyways i just i don't know if they get like it's like a consignment kind of thing if they like get paid for donations because i know at value village if you donate um things then they give you a 20% off coupon. So I don't know if maybe they do that somewhere. I don't know. I don't know how it happens, but it happens. Look what Cooper found. Hello. He's stoked about this. What a nice shirt. Honestly, like this is his favorite team. You guys know. Um, and the fact that it's never been worn before. Absolute steal. Absolute steal. So I was really happy that the boys found that. Um, Skylar, you guys know if you watched, been keeping up with all the vlogs. I know there's a lot every single day. Um, but Skylar just bought a golf set or a golf club set. What do you call it? Golf clubs, a set of golf clubs. I don't know. Um, anyways, he's planning on doing a lot of golfing this year. So he found a couple golf shirts. I think he found this one, which is so cute. And what is he wearing? A large now? Yeah, he's in large, extra large which is Curtis's size, but usually Curtis is just a large. So Skylar's going to pass him very soon. That's for sure. He's already passed him in height. Um, Cooper found this, which is awesome. It's that thin um, athletic material, 
really nice. He could use it for running. He does want to start running outside with Curtis. Um, finally, the weather, well, it's not today, but the weather is getting nicer. Whether or not it wants to agree with us today. Oh yeah, I forgot we got something for the dog who doesn't deserve anything right now. We'll save it for later, but we got him this little stuffy. I found these really nice shorts um, for Sky. These are large and he's gonna love having these for basketball, summer, you name it. My kids wear shorts year round, whether it's at home just for bedtime or um, for sports, you know, gym, all that stuff. Uh, I didn't even see this. Yeah, this is Aeropostale. Skylar found this for himself. That is really nice, look at that. It's got the kangaroo pouch. It's nice, it's thin, it's like just like a long sleever. Um, and Cooper found this for Sky, which is really nice. I mean, these things, like each thing here is probably like four or five dollars, if if not less than that. Winnie's stuff is a little bit cheaper than that. Um, the price goes up with the size. Okay. And then I found these for Skylar for golf. I'm hoping they will fit. Um, they're a little stretchy, but they're just nice golf shorts because you know you can't wear oh, you can't wear like regular clothes to golfing. You have to pretend you're fancier than you really are. I've never really understood that. I got some jeans. Curtis is gonna try some on. These are Hollister. These are 34. Um, they're really nice in a 30 length. I, he doesn't know what size he is. I don't know what size he is. He's different every single time we buy jeans, but then he wears the same jeans for like a year, if not longer than that, until his balls fall out of the crotch. That's how long he wears them. That's actually very true. So I got those ones for him. His balls fell out of the last crotch, actually. So it actually does happen. Anyways, found these ones too. These are paper denim and cloth. That's a brand name. Okay. <laughs> Weird. So he's gonna try those on, and those are 34 as well, and then these are 36, and these are Old Navy. Da, 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 da. All right, you gonna try them on, babe? Let's do a fashion show. Okay, here is the first bathing suit top that I'm trying on. This one, yeah, I like it. How would this look holding the cooler? Pretty good, I think, yeah. <laughs> I think this is cute. Poison, Definitely. Poison, All right. Poison, I tried the biggest one on first, so. <laughs> okay, I obviously still have all of my undergarments on, but I tried on the bottoms too. <laughs> I think it works. Am I gonna have a tankini this summer? Yes. <laughs> the miracle suit. Someone else's miracle. <laughs> It is not my miracle. Just doing a dance. This is how you're gonna show off your jeans? Yep. Nice, okay. <laughs> what are those, the Old Navy ones? They're the pants, okay. Perfect. Okay, some more dance routine jeans. Whoa, baby. Nice! <laughs> Let's see the butt, let's see the butt. Right here. Not hers! <laughs> woo woo! <laughs> I just snorted. He opened the door and he's like, whew, these would They're a problem. You see these thunder thighs? I did. <laughs> They're so tight. They're freaking tight. I can barely pull them up. I got thunder thighs, okay? One more oh, They look like skinny jeans. Do a spinner. They look much better on Skyler. <laughs> Are you gonna fit these on you? Oh, I fit them on. There's a lot of witnesses to it. They were real tight on him. Oh, they look. Ones. They make yeah. me look. They're a little tight. Are those your tight. normal ones? Yeah. <laughs> Don't they have a hole right in the crotch? No, no we had to throw those ones out. Yeah, right. my ball fell out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, Aunt Kimber came bearing gifts. Yeah. Look at yeah. Squidward Dad hat. And show everybody what, oh, you want to give Jassy his new toy? Okay, give it to him. Gary, tell him to sit. Sit. Okay, <laughs> that, that worked. The opposite of sitting. Get him to sit and then give it to him. Okay, good enough. Okay, and show everybody what Aunt Kimber got you. Go get your socks. Yep, right there. 
I still gotta cut all the tags off the Frenchie's fine. Yeah. She got some SpongeBob socks. Oh, my phone's literally dying. We've been using it all day. So cool! And you match my hat. And she just got her jammies on for the party. And I think Aunt Kimber got something for somebody else too, but I wanted to have my camera ready for that. For me? I did actually get something for you too. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> She found basketball cards. People are waiting in line for days for basketball cards right Thank now. You. Um, <laughs> you did good, Aunt Kimber. For you, Mama. Ooh. <laughs> Very nice. That's awesome. I've never seen it in my life. It's for people Pull that are up. thinner. Thank you. Well, <laughs> these are the same ones that we got for yes, Christmas. Yes, they are. <laughs> You Can you believe she found more? You Where gotta tell me who your dealer is. Cody's hour. Who'd you get? Who'd you get? Who'd you get? No way. Nice. And Kimber came with an entire bag filled with theater popcorn and theater butter. <laughs> I told you guys she was the fun sister. <laughs> All right, so we haven't had supper yet or anything, but we're gonna end the vlog here. Look at Mrs. Puff. She's amazing. I think she's my favorite toy right now. And I, I have a lot of toys. <laughs> well, that sounded inappropriate. That's not what I meant. <laughs> oh, Kimber's laughing. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna say bye so I can end this so we can go party hard. And if we do anything super fun, I'll vlog it and show you tomorrow. So we love you guys. Oh, Kimber and what's your name? I was gonna call her Dawn. Um, that's my other sister. Kimber and Winnie are going to Just do some sticker book. books while mommy finishes her work. <laughs> we love you guys. We will see you tomorrow. Bye. Mrs. Puff is out. Bye. Squidward dab. <laughs>